All right, so with this question, number 9 and 10, the first two here, they want us to, these are already in exponent form, and they want us to convert this back to log form. So what does that mean? Well, if you kind of think about um, a, I'm going to give an example here. I'm going to do an example. Here. I'm going to say, say you had log of, I don't know, say 6 to equal to, um, no, that would actually not work. Say it's to say eight equal to three. Yeah. If you had log of eight base two equal to three, the way you change this to um, exponent form will be to have this two at the base level come up and carry this three. So it end up looking like this two to the three, two to the three, and then it will just equal to the eight. So the way you go from log to exponent is just have the base number there come and carry the number to the right carried on top of its head like that, kind of like a, an exponent, and then make that equal to this eight. Well, if you were just to reverse that process, if I'm looking at this question right here, it tells me because this 15 is carrying this two, it means, watch this setup, this two used to be here, and this 15 used to be like a base at the bottom here of some kind of log, and this two, two, five was like this. Do you see how I kind of reverse that process? Because if you go with what I explained earlier here, if this 15 comes and carries this two, it would be 15 to the two equal to two, two, five, which is exactly what we have here. So I know that this setup is correct because it's almost like I'm reversing the process to get back to log. So let's do the same thing over here. If I see this 144 to the half power, it means that there used to be a half over here there used to be a 144 at the base level of some kind of log, and it's that 144 that came over and carried this high one half, and this 12 used to be like here. So converting back from exponents to log is not very difficult. You just have to kind of know the connection between the back and forth between both of them. All right, so over here uh, for this number uh, 18, the question is a little different. The question here will be, hey, solve this, like get the solution of this, right? Now, to solve this, if you use the same concept we use here, the best thing to do is to solve this is just make it equal to x, meaning solve for the x, solve for what this is, like whatever this is, it's going to equal an x, so solve for that x. Well, based on what I just said, this 4, right, can come and just carry, this 4 can come and carry this x, yeah? So it's going to look like this, 4 to the x power, and then you still have 1 over 64. Well, if you look at my previous video, we talked about how we can make that 64 to power of 4. So 4 to the what power gives me 4 to the what power. I want this 64 to have a base of 4, just like this 4 to the x does. Well, that's going to be 1 to the 4 thirds because 4 of the 3. Because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64, right? So I know that this is correct. This is 4 to the x. But the problem is this 4 thirds is at the base level, and I don't like that. So I'm going to make this 4 to the negative 3 bring it up but when i bring it up i have to introduce a negative at the power level and so that's four to the x there obviously the force cancel so the answer here is x equal to negative three that is the solution of this question based on um just kind of setting that up so let me move this up a little bit and create some space for us all right so that's kind of how that looks um all right, so let's look at this next one. Same thing, if we are trying to solve for this, just make this equal to x like that, right? When I do that, it means that this 36 can come and carry this x, so it becomes 36 to the x. This 6 is still there. Can I write this 36 as a power? Yes, I can. It becomes 6 squared, and they still have x there, and this is 6. Technically, this 6 is to the 1 power. Cross out the 6s, so it's 1 equal to 2 to the x. You want the x divided by 2 on both sides. So your x is one half, so that's how you do it. So if you're trying to solve a log, just make it equal to x and use the exponent movement thing of this base, bring it, let it carry this number, and then make it equal to the other side. I can do the same thing over here. I can have this four come over and it will carry this zero, making it like a four to the zero like that. Um, and on this side, I still have six b, right? A six b plus four, right? Well, we know anything to the power of zero is one. So this is 6b plus 4. I want to get uh, this b by itself, so I'm going to move this 4 over. It's going to become minus. It's going 1 minus 4 there. 6b is there. This is what? Minus 3. Minus 3 there. This is 6b. Divide by 6. Divide by 6. So now we have b equal to negative 3 over 6. This is negative 1 half. That's what b is. 
and that is the setup and that's how you work through log functions so glad you're able to guys stay with me throughout this entire video series of algebra questions and i'm hoping and i'm pretty confident that this should have helped you a lot in terms of understanding how to do some very common algebra equations algebra uh, questions that you would see on various tests and even just for general math at school so all the best to you as you study um, your learn as much as you can in your math